Kofi, and today I'm going to show you guys how I like to deploy my React apps. So right here, you can see I recently just built this. It's uh, part of my portfolio, and uh, I want to actually deploy this app. So what I'm going to do is use Firebase to deploy my app. Now, there's other options. I've tried uh, many different ones, and I find that Firebase is um, the easiest and the most convenient for me. Uh, if you guys have any other ways of deploying a React app that's uh, easy and works well with React Router, uh, please um, tell me and let me know. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do uh, is just to have a Firebase account. So it's really easy. Just go to firebase.google.com, sign up for an account. And what you need to do next is just go to the console here. Okay, so I'm waiting for the console to load. So I have many projects here already. Uh, if you guys are doing this for the first time, you shouldn't see anything. So what you need to do is just to add a project. So I'm just gonna do call this a demo project. And then set the terms, and then this will create your project. So the reason why you need to do this uh, to create a project here is later on in the command line, uh, you're going to connect what you uh, the, the code that you built to this project that you just created here, right here. So, okay, so as you see, this is created. Now, what you need to do is go into your command line and we need to install uh, Firebase tools. So the easiest way to do this is through NPM. So you could do NPM install uh, Firebase Tools. and also throw a dash G on there so you can use it globally. Okay. All right, so uh, we finally installed the Firebase tools. And after you install the tools, what you need to do is go into your project folder. So this is, uh, this is the project folder for me. Right now I'm running a server, so I'm just gonna cancel out of it. Um, so in order, so to start deployment, what you actually need to do uh, first is to log in to Firebase. So what you can do is run this command, Firebase login. And what this should do is open up a browser window. Um, let's see, yes. okay. So what this should do is open up a browser window. It just basically um, has you choose account and verify information. Uh, so, so after this part is done, uh, you can go back to your, that was just like a small little aside. Now you can go back to your uh, command line. So now I am logged in to Firebase. Okay, so after you're logged in, um, we need to deploy the site. But before we deploy uh, a React site, what we need to do is actually run this command, npm run build. And what npm uh, run build does for us is create a build folder of uh, static files of, of your project because when you're working with React, there's something called Webpack, which bundles a bunch of configurations. And also, and one that's really important is called Babel that transpiles all your recent ES6 plus JavaScript code down to ES, ES5, which works is compatible with older browsers. So you definitely want all of that to be combi compiled. Once you have your build folder, what you now can do is start initializing Firebase in, inside your project. So to do that, you would run Firebase init in your command line. Okay. And now uh, there's a whole bunch of options here. What we're going to be working with is hosting today. So what we're going to do is go down to hosting and then spacebar enter. And then, so after you uh, selected hosting, you're probably going to, Firebase is probably going to ask you which uh, project folder you, you want to deploy this project into. So you actually want to select the project that you created inside the Firebase console. Remember when we, uh, so back in Google Chrome, when we were in our console, where is, okay. So remember when we were in our console and we created a project, we actually want to use that project. Now it's okay if it doesn't show up there. Um, I'll show you how to add it later. Just go ahead and scroll down uh, to create a new project and then go through these configurations that I'm going to show you right now. So the first question is ask, what do you want to use as your public directory? You want to use the build folder that we just created. Um, is this configure as a single page app? Yes. Okay. And uh, okay, this part's a little bit tricky. It says, 
uh, file build slash index.html already exists, overwrite, you actually want to say no. Because if, if you click yes, um, what Firebase is going to do is basically create its own index.html page and it's going to use that instead of what you have in your build folder. So you won't definitely want to choose no as an option here. Okay, initialization is complete. That was very quick, as you can see. So uh, right now, so if you want, okay, so here's how you add uh, th the project. If you didn't see it earlier from the dropdown, so you would do Firebase, use, and then your project ID. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to find your project ID right now. So all you have to do is click on the settings tab and go to project settings. And then you would have a project ID right here. So just copy that ID and then go back into the terminal and Firebase use project ID and then press enter. So now it's switched over. Uh, now it knows where to deploy all these files to. Okay. So now what you can do is just do Firebase deploy. And now that should take a little while, um, depending on how much stuff you have inside your uh, in, inside your project. So we're just gonna sit here and wait until this deploys, and I'm gonna sh uh, show you guys where you can find your site. So after your um, files are done deploying to Firebase, uh, you can actually just go over to the Firebase website. So this is the overview screen. What you can do is scroll down to hosting, and you can see here that this is deployed and you can see your deployment history and you can even even uh, roll back to like a previous version if you uh, if you have like a newer version that breaks or something. So that's super useful. And also um, you can access your site just through this domain here. So you can just click it and then it opens <laughs> uh, it opens the site. So, yep, that's it. Uh, it's super easy. Hope you guys enjoy this video and if if it helped you at all, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, thank you, and see you next time.